when you leap off of something, you're just focused on that moment and that's it. And nothing else matters. It's what clears your, your, your mind, you know, and kind of pushes everything away. 20 seconds, you know, or 30 seconds. It seems like an eternity and it is refreshing. And I think that's what a lot of people experience is they, they experience that refreshing feeling that is hard to describe. Bungee jumping is a railroad bridge. It's an ankle wrap and it's a head dip. And so those combinations are rare. We have a 110 foot free fall. You sweep across the river and you have a 175 foot rebound top of the rebound, you go weightless. The cords are gonna catch you again. You have another rebound, then you swing back and forth. We lower a rope down to you, you hook it into your harness, and we pull you back up. Simple as that. Vertigo Bungee is a group of passionate bungee jumpers that love the sport and allow other people to come out and enjoy it. We're located here in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. We operate off the Young's High Bridge, built in 1889. This bridge was used to supply coal to a coal plant down on the river behind us. The person we bought this from, Craig, he came in and he recycled the tracks. And he couldn't tear the bridge down because the Kentucky Historical Society has a lock on it. So it sat for years until we approached Craig with our idea. Vertigo Bungie is Jason, Mike, Doug, and myself. We started jumping together a long time ago, and we just had a passion for jumping off bridges. Eighty-two bridges, you know, spread out everywhere. We've had permission for a few of them. We started jumping in the early '90s, and back then, um, you know, it was kind of the beginning of the bungee world in the United States. Back then, most of the things that we jumped, we just did it without asking permission. At that time, it was kind of split um, between Tahoe and Washington. We just taught ourselves how to do it, you know. We had a way of respectfully going onto a bridge. Uh, we were in Seattle, so we could go to the University of Washington and they had a map room. Like 6,000 maps that covered every square inch of Washington State. We could count the topographical lines on the map and get an idea of how high it was. And we would take notes and we would circle what we thought was a bridge. And we would do that for days on end. Live railways, live roadways. And you take the necessary precautions to make sure you're not gonna get run over by a train. <laughs> I was put in jail in New York, put in jail in Del Rio, Texas. I've had trespassing tickets. I've had our equipment confiscated. Kind of crazy, but I got an FBI file caught on some federal bridges. So in 2014, we purchased the property. When we got here, it was just railroad ties. So we put our money together and we fabricated this whole deck, all these railings, all the way out to the middle. It's 950 feet. It took us a long time. We had to do the groups back in the day when we were doing the bandit loads um, and having to assemble people as a group. And I think that group aspect, it creates a chemistry that kind of really brings people together. And everybody's there for a different reason, you know? Some people are there to conquer their fears, some people are there to celebrate life. And we really do have a lot of different stories that come out here. It's called the Young's High Bridge. Uh, we're standing 240 feet above the Kentucky River. And yes, it is a bungee jump. Uh, so it is rubber bands that you're attached to. And we put everybody right down there close to the river. So you can't expect to be within 10 feet of the water, all right? It's important to think about this as a diving experience, not a jumping experience, okay? You are gonna be diving off of this bridge. Make sure that your head leads the rest of your body, okay? I feel like the reason people are so motivated to like do this crazy stuff is because it's one of the safest things you can do, but in the most terrifying way possible. That's in a way why I love roller coasters so much. We are 
at King's Island. Day two of our trip to Cedar Point. At Bush Gardens, Tampa, and Tampa Bay, Florida, Six Flags over Georgia. Canada's Wonderland. Ooh. Holiday Park in Germany. Here at Toberland in the Netherlands. Ferrari Land in Spain. I've actually ridden exactly 547 roller coasters across the United States, Canada, and Europe. And a ton of people have told me that I'm probably the youngest person in the world to ride that many. You know, when Logan first started, uh, really being obsessed is the word for it. He was obsessed with roller coasters. It's all he talked about. He covered his, his room with, with maps of theme parks, and it was like his main thing. Logan, when he was young, he, he struggled with a lot of fears. He was afraid of strangers and loud noises and fast moving things and heights and, uh, and just was really kind of caught up in all this anxiety and fear. He was diagnosed on the autism spectrum and uh, had a lot of struggles when he was real young. He was uh, totally drawn to anything on video. He would watch things on video over and over and over again. I started watching point of view videos, which are videos in the front seat of roller coasters. And I was terrified of the coasters. So in a way, I didn't want to ride them, but they like intrigued me so much. He said he wanted to start a YouTube channel. Welcome to Coaster Kids with your host, Logan and Natalie. 130 feet high, the tallest, fastest, and longest coaster of its kind. Top 20 favorite amusement park. Top 15 favorite launch coasters. Top 10 favorite B&M inverts. Me and my family got a gold pass to Kings Island and I wanted to like overcome all of the roller coasters there. So. Roller coasters are predictable in a world that's totally unpredictable. He had a, a map of the park and he would cross them off every time he rode a coaster that he conquered. But he went back to school in the fall and we had a, a meeting with his teachers and they were like, what happened to Logan? They said he's a completely different kid. He's not afraid of loud noises anymore. He's more confident, he's communicating better. Coaster Kids is a YouTube channel that started out as just like a fun little thing to express my love for roller coasters, but then it kind of escalated into a channel that encourages people to overcome their fear. There was this one kid from Israel who recorded a video of himself saying, we don't have roller coasters, we have planes and bombs that fall from the sky, and if Logan can ride these roller coasters, then I have the courage to go outside. Thrills United, I wanted to do like more adventure stuff. You're like shaking. You're shaking, dude. Yeah. <laughs> when you get to the edge, it's like this small platform and all you see ahead of you is trees, the small bridge ahead of you, and the water. Alright, let's go. Three, two, one. Oh my god! When you're jumping, you're only thinking about the moment. You're not thinking about any of the worries you have in your life. You're just thinking about what's directly ahead of you. That, that was incredible. I'm so glad I went back here. It's like so peaceful, but terrifying at the same time. And that's what I love about it. You commit and you just leap off, you know, literally leap off of something, targeting a goal and committing to it. And I think that right there in itself is what people are in search of.